All right, ladies and gentlemen, dear subscribers, welcome back. And today is not a Pontiac video. Today is my daily driver, the Fiat 500 Abarta. Uh, there was an accident while I had the car parked. And as you can tell, this is my dear bumper. Now, the car, if you're looking up my fucking plates, yes, I have an unpaid ticket and it just went through as guilty, so. <coughs> but either way, uh, motorcycle was parked in front of me. Somebody knocked the motorcycle down and the handlebars went straight through. No problem. So I'm going to be repairing that. And this is also loose, so I'm going to be, I'm going to keep this, the emblem and all of that. Uh, maybe removing the emblem, I don't know, but cutting these off. And uh, with that said, we are fucking with the headlamps, the headlights. These things are shitty from the factory and regardless of what bulbs you use, they never come out looking straight. Or can you see at night properly? So what we're gonna do? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I mean, I know what I'm doing. I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, what we're gonna do is open this thing up, see what's inside. But I'm gonna show you something pretty fucking cool. And if it works, I'm a fucking genius. So I have this elevator, and we did this like last year. And when our lights went out the drop of the reset lights when they went out we had them bring us extras so with this said uh, these pulled down or whatever you put new ones in that it's three um, LEDs and they're pretty freaking bright so what I thought to do is uh, I don't know use one of these and maybe make a, so this this is how you saw the recess light and put these into this thing and see how it does now I will do a dry fit and comparison but uh, what happens is um, this uh, smooth ring is the housing and uh, this is uh, the heat distributor and what you do is you just Unwind it. I don't want to do that because the LEDs fall out of place and I don't want to do that. But what we'll do is look inside here and see how they might fit. Tap off. Uh, this is the bolt base. That's the bulb. That's the thing that sucks a lot of balls because it really fucking it does nothing. Um, when I go in the suburbs, especially my brother's house, there's no lights. I'm fucking riding blind. The divider, if it's too short, the oncoming traffic is blinding the hell out of me. So that sucks. But, um, whatever. Either way. But what I'm going to do is, uh, let me check. Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hook it up to a 11.1 volt battery that replicates, um, I use this for my electric skateboard that is still getting repaired. Um, I'm gonna hook this up real quick and sh turn off the lights, see how it is. And I'll hook up and dry fit uh, the new one, see how that is. And we'll take it from there before I start cutting or whatever the case is. Let's open this door, cause I don't know if I'll be able to see. But, uh, Let's see, uh, hopefully I don't short nothing out. All right, basically, this is what I see. And I'll be honest, it's not good. So let's see what I can do with the, with the new one compared to the old one and see what happens. All right, looks like we got some, um, Hex bolts inside, four in, to be exact. And um, I might not have to cut anything 
Let's see when I pull that out what I could do. So let's uh, let's cut this up and uh, then do the other one. Let's see how it goes. We may have to 3D print a base to hold this uh, the outer diameter mount. So this way we can always put a new bolt whenever we want. All right, before we get started, this is how you open a beer. And no broken glass, that's awesome. We snapped off the housing after cutting most of the way through. Now remember, this back piece that we cut off, keep in mind if God forbid you're doing, God forbid you're doing something to your uh, headlights, like this. Make sure none of the mounting brackets are the ones you're separating because you want that shit to go back where they were if you cut something make sure it's something that has nothing to do with mounting it back on the car now I can always glue this back together no problem so keep that in mind now without further ado if uh, god damn how hard is it listen I'm gonna have to do this off the camera you know what I'm talking about these lying ass motherfuckers. My headlight was never equipped with the with the high beam light. It's just a fucking flapper to open up more light to go through the lens. You see what I'm saying? You you find these things out. So this is like a solenoid type of uh, mechanism where where it just retracts, opens a flap, and more light is projected through. Assholes, man. What I did here is um, uh, so this is the entire lens right there. I just took that out of this one, but this is what I did to the other one. Apparently, the closer the LED is to the bulb, the more um, the more light you get out of it. Meaning, the more light is distributed around, and not in three LEDs. So. Uh, I'm just going to do that, maybe I'll reinforce around the glass again, uh, just to be sure, but this is what we're doing. It's a cheap way, but whatever, at this point I don't care, anything is better. What I'm doing is I'm um, cutting off the bulbs so I can reuse these connectors. Uh, the only problem I'm having is figuring out which one's negative, which one's positive. Ha! Ah, that's a bitch. But... If you're cutting these like I am with pliers, one, what I'm doing is not a good idea nor smart, but I'm doing it because I fucking want to. When you're cutting these, they are pressurized bulbs. When they pop, glass flies. Just like it did right now. And flies like a freaking bomb. All right? Wear safety goggles. I got to temporarily. Uh, bolt it in with the connector so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, dry fit this thing let's see how it looks headlights in the moment of truth mm. alright guys if I blow up just wanna say I love y'all Well, oh, that went out, it was on, and now it's off. Alright, so this one is dead. Uh, I don't know if I connected it the wrong way, or whatever the case is, but this is Basura. Um, luckily I had one more to spare, so what I did, I took a voltometer and took a reading, which happens to be about 14 point something uh, volts on the headlight while the car is on, and 11 point something while it's off, so what I did, luckily I keep these RC batteries around, it's a... Uh,
14.8 volts and I hooked it up to the light to see if it would burn out. Uh, ended up being fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, luckily, remember what I told you, once the housing is in, you could just wind in a new bulb. So I'm going to do that right now. And maybe we'll go fit it again and see how it works. So we finally closed up the top. What I did here is um, I took a screwdriver and a torch. Heat up the screwdriver a lot. The, the hotter, the better. And you're basically just like plastering uh, this two sides together. Now the bigger gaps is uh, where I'm going to put the uh, silicone. Okay. Let's go. Time for a test fit, baby. Wish me luck. Take two. All right. Point. We're just gonna repair this. Uh, remove this part. And the only thing I'm gonna do, because the video is getting a little too long reinforce this from the rear because uh, I can always once I place it on I can body fill the crack uh, and refinish everything we cut off the sides took off the emblem let's uh, sand the edges prime it and paint it uh, I guess black all right so I pushed the crack uh, back into its original uh, state and what I'm gonna do after is just uh, sand down the front side then uh, apply some body filler and paint the whole thing one two all right and what you want to do when you're replacing any type of halogen bulb do not touch the lens they're very sensitive, any grease or grime will shorten the life, if not kill the bulb right away. Thank you! Got myself some uh, epoxy, uh, the resin and a hardener, and a uh, little, like a steel brush to rough up around the, around the cut. Right. This is going to help uh, epoxy uh, settle better and uh, have something to grab onto. So I'll just clean off all the dirt and let's get the epoxy mixed up. I think they got a better idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same method I did on the, the housing of the headlights. I'm just going to melt the plastic into itself and reinforce that with glass. And uh, I think that should be even better. Uh -huh. Gotta say, that came out pretty good. Huh. Okay, it's holding everything in place. That's good. Pray for me. Fog lights on. I would call that pretty uh, successful uh, project. Uh, that's how you make uh, OEM headlights better. Um, sometimes these engineers do a good job, but sometimes they just want to sell, sell, sell. It doesn't work like that. Anyways, uh, the best way to find out that this has properly worked is to drive it tonight, which I will be. I'm actually going to Connecticut to my brother's house, start working on a GA, so stay tuned. I got more videos coming. If you like the video, drop a like down below. Comment if you have any questions. And more importantly, subscribe. Because if you don't subscribe, I can't make videos. Now nah, I'm just playing. I'm still going to make videos. Thank you, guys. Peace.